Well, the hell's all kicking off, guys. If you shut the gates, how am I getting to my car? So why are you obstructing me then? So I'm the hotel manager and I'm in charge of this building. You don't own the, yeah, the building, not the whole ground. There's yes. other businesses in here. Yes, I know. Right, so you can't stop somebody else coming in through this gate. Stop you through this no, you cannot. Huh? You can't. For all you know, I could own one of them other businesses. Well, you don't. How do you know? How do you know I don't? I spoke to her. Who? one business next door. But it doesn't matter. You don't have the right to stop anybody walking through. I wasn't going through. Well, there you go then. <laughs> so don't, don't do that to people, you know? I'm not having my rights to do it. Obstructing a member of the public is not a very good thing to do. Yeah. What about your safety? What about your safety? You're just a member of the public. No, I'm fire trained. You're still a member of the public right now. Well, it's not your hotel, is it? You just run it. <laughs> but they'll be glad you're looking after it. No smoke guys. <laughs> Where's all the residents? Have we established if there is a fire yet? There was, yeah. Small one. smoking when they shouldn't have been probably, eh? <laughs> I'll go and grab a couple of snaps then before you all go.
looking for an incident of attending today guys. Maybe I should just become a fireman. Have you brought a sleeping bag? Eh? Looks like you may be here for the night. Yeah, what's going on there? A small fire apparently inside the hotel. Probably somebody smoking in the room. Fell asleep, probably. Something like that. Yeah, they're getting nicer, aren't they, these? Do you rate, how do you rate it? Yeah, it's not caught fire yet, then? No, not yet, no. Yeah. Yeah. You don't sound too optimistic there. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Never know. It's Fast as well, aren't they? Yeah, like Ferrari sort of power in it and speed. That was the wrong answer there. Yeah. You should say, I wouldn't know. Yeah. I could have been an undercover police officer. Yeah. <laughs> right, the guy, the guy in the back uh, wagon just said he's going there. He says we're going now, so. He should be able to pull into here, isn't he? If the fire's out, man. Huh? I'm from Blackpool, but I was in Preston. Uh, I was at another place doing some filming. This is my second fire incident today. I had one this morning in Blackpool, and then this one. Just local reports on what's going on. Yeah, put it on YouTube. <laughs> That's not a good sign for this hotel anyway, that there's only one exit like that, is it? It was you. They're looking for you in there. They're looking for a strange looking man in a brown jacket who was smoking where he shouldn't have been. Uh, was that you? Uh, yeah? What's Somebody's had a fag and put it down and it's caught fire. They're looking for a man in a brown jacket. In a blue hoodie. Acting suspicious. Drives a black Ford pickup. <laughs> Some people have no sense of humor, do they? <laughs> So what, where do you work? You work in here? <laughs> Visiting? And you got stuck in this? <laughs> that woman in the pink shirt just she tried to stop me coming in here. <laughs> Maybe check.
There's a fire out now, guys. Job done. Yeah, yeah. Another good job done. Yeah, yeah. Somebody told me it was him that was having a fag. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Typical. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, Newspaper? Eh? Uh, YouTube. Just independent reports. Well, that's our way to Westmeet, man, isn't it? Four stories, four people. Eh? It's our way to Westmeet, man, isn't it? Four stories, four people. Mm. Have they not evacuated? No, they didn't evacuate. Couldn't spare a bottle of that water, pal, could you? That's the best one you're drinking, do you know that? Yeah. Come down with, come down with a disposable barbecue. <laughs> we thought something was set off upstairs, it's down there. Oh, Alright. That's what caused the fire. Well, that, that's what, that, the fourth, I'm on the fourth floor, the fourth floor is full of smoke. Alright. The, the maintenance guy come down with that, still smoking out the fire. So somebody way. tried to do some cooking in their room? That's <laughs> what I initially thought, but then the woman said that. Apparently, the woman's locked herself in the room. Tried to gas herself out with the car bomb and knocks her off that. That's why the police are in the field. Oh, right, I wonder why there's so many police out there. You know, when they go in the car and the exhaust pipe, which yeah, is yeah. Why don't we go to the field now? Yeah, yeah. That, that was smoking me, but there's no point there. You come upstairs and that, I've got a stick in it, like I should have put it on. Ah, gee! That's, the, that's what the trouble was when he said to put that in the bed, apparently she locks herself in a room and she's trying to gas herself out. Can I get a picture of that? That's what the guy brought down. Yeah, that's what the guy brought down. There was a small fire, it's now contained. Another good job done, guys. Was there only you turned up? Sorry? Was there only you turned up at the assembly point? No. Well, they've all gone back in now, have they? And we're at Travel Lodge, Preston, guys. I wondered why there was such a big police presence. One, two, three, four vans, four vehicles for a, a fire. Anyway, starting to rain, guys. Later, I think. We're all done here. The story was, just to recap, you've seen the footage of the barbecue tray and the burnt towel and the guy said the women's try to commit suicide with carbon monoxide. I'm not sure how that would work guys, I'm not a suicide expert. Let's just, go, let's just hope she gets the help she needs guys. 
no real harm done to her, I hope. But at the same time, she was putting a lot of other residents in the hotel at risk. As you heard the guy say, Radio, done here, guys.